Hey guys, currently posting part two now of this July 23rd update. Um, wanted to get on one video, but didn't have enough space on the phone, so we were just finishing up talking about some pepperoncinis, which you can see I have a lot of them, and I love them. But uh, the next bucket I had was some sweet potatoes. Now this was an experiment of actually starting the sweet potatoes um, from sprouts, and I'm really excited about how they're turning out. So you have to stay updated for that. I really can't. Uh, I really don't know how they're doing on the inside, but on the outside, uh, they seem to be doing quite well. And then the next bucket I'd mentioned in the previous, well, in the first update, um, about a tomato plant that just seemed to be dying off. Um, and I kind of had the same thing happen with this pepper plant. Um, if I if I come here, you see really soft on that pepper. It does look like it's maybe making a comeback, so I'm excited about that, but uh, really not sure what to expect from it, because um, it really had withered away and looked like it was really going to just die off. So, uh, well, we'll see how it goes. Now we'll kind of move into some sweet peppers, which this one was, and so are the pepperoncinis, but some really sweet peppers we've got in here. If I can get in the way here. They're really going really well. These are California Wonder bell peppers. And you can see I've got about, I don't know, seven or eight um, growing, quite big, just compared to my thumb and put my hand next to it there. And then here you can see quite a few growing there. So pretty excited about those guys and some more of them here. Although I will say these, I don't, I, don't, I gotta pull these off and try one, which I will because uh, as you can see, uh, pretty massive and I have pretty big hands. So these guys are, taken off quite well and I had mentioned this on some of the other peppers but on these guys they're just getting so big so heavy with fruit that started to topple over so I had to put a stake in the ground there but they're doing fine and you can see a bunch of new pro you know production there and then I get into some of the banana peppers which are doing really well as well you can see again this, you know this guy has let's see six that are ready to be picked off and which are looking really good and this one has a lot of new ones starting probably about eight or ten but you can see under here pull this back quite a bit and this is all in you know these buckets and again we're only in the 23rd of july so we've got a lot of growing left to do a lot of produce yet to pick so i'm really happy with these guys zoom in again see how nice and big and you know really good looking those banana peppers are and some more california wonders here I got a little invader growing there, but um, these guys, again, looking really good. This one was one that took a while to get started, but now you can see it's oh, really starting to take off. So excited about that. A few more banana peppers. You can see these guys, really excited about these guys. Last year, I didn't do as many sweet peppers. Did pepperoncinis, jalapenos, but a lot of jalapenos, cayennes, and habaneros this year really heavy on the sweet peppers, the pepperoncinis, bananas, bells. Um, and speaking of pepperoncinis, here's another bucket, just chop full of them. Uh, these guys were the go-to when I had that uh, die off at the start of the, at the start of the year that I just planted them and I said, hey, we'll, we'll let them grow. And as you can see, uh, there's a lot of them. And then two more buckets of the sweet potatoes. So hopefully we'll get some pretty good Pretty good production from the sweet potatoes. I'm, I'm pretty excited, pretty optimistic about them. They're looking good. Kind of go with the, you know, like a protocol of any sweet potato or potato. Kind of let the, the greenery die off this fall and then uh, harvest what we got. And uh, I'm excited. They seem to be doing really well. And then we have, I'll back up so you can see it here. Um, kind of my my mess around my my play area, and you can also see the. Uh, the fact that we are in the uh, smack dab right in the middle of the city so this is as urban gardening uh, as it can get and that's what I love you know you don't have to have a bunch of land a bunch of um, you know good ground you know, I just got a bunch of good buckets mix some good soil um, and give my plants a lot of TLC and they produce well so here we'll start off with some chocolate mint and this guy has taken off and I mentioned this in the previous video, but this is the, the only plant that I have out here that I did not start from seed. Everything else I started from seed. 
either directly into the bucket or most of them I started inside in my green room and then you know transplanted them out here so this was the only the guy and he was about this big when I put him in here and now you can see he takes over the whole bucket just like my basil now the basil is uh, really my wife's favorite I'm not a huge basil guy but I come out here and pick these uh, you know wanting to go to seed which isn't good for the uh, the taste and flavor of the basil so you can see a good sweet basil plant looks really good smells delicious and, um, and and if you can believe this this is actually in this bucket right here this is only one one basil plant we'll get in here just one plant in the whole bucket so got a little loud here again right in the middle of the city but yeah just one basil plant doing really well and then here is some more peppers that some auxiliaries that I just you know wanted to try and surprise surprise we've got uh, jalapenos and pepperoncinis here so and we've got four carrot buckets and kind of mixed results in these so far here we've got only a few in this bucket I haven't pulled anything out so I don't know actually how everything looks but um, you can see pretty good stem this guy right here really good 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 base to them but not a lot of production in this bucket kind of a wasted bucket if you ask me and then these three buckets are actually doing pretty good um, you know some carrots look a little bit better than others but get you down there and you can see you know this is actually a kaleidoscope bucket so we have a purple carrot there it looks like so we'll see how everything turns out but uh, pretty good pretty good so far these guys are a little bit weaker I'm not sure what what the deal was with these guys so I don't really know but uh, and then something I'm really excited about and that is these guys right here I'm growing these guys in buckets if you can believe it this is spaghetti squash I mean again got pretty big hands here and uh, the only July 23rd and we've got some pretty big spaghetti squash so far and doing really well so you can see here about a four foot vine coming out and going right into the bucket this one actually has two spaghetti squash in it see soil is doing really well and we'll go this one didn't grow as long but we've got a good spaghetti squash to boot on it so excited about these guys love spaghetti squash and you know even if you just get one out of each plant which I'm hoping to get you know at least two on each plant but even one that's gonna feed uh, my wife and I for a meal and that's really all I can hope for on these guys and then here's another bucket where it was the end of end of planting a lot of things had died and I had four cayennes that I didn't want to see just wither away and so I put them in here and they're taken to taken off by you know by big leaps and bounds a lot of production on these guys and this is a an experiment in itself because I actually have four two three four cayenne plants in there so we'll see how that goes and then we have some corn here we've got popcorn popcorn and sweet corn so you know I've heard some mixed things from people saying hey you're not gonna get anything that's gonna produce because uh, you only have three you need at least a couple rows um, and really it doesn't really matter to me if I if I get a lot of production out of them or not or even if I get anything they they look really good they'll be a, a nice addition uh, you know fall time I told Erica that I would have liked to you know maybe even you know lined a row here of them maybe next next year but we'll see but uh, on one of them you can see we've got a uh, little baby corn here getting started so a bug there I hope he's not a bad bug but a uh, little corn getting started there so excited about that that'll be fun and then we've got one more bucket of spaghetti squash and, and I will say this, uh, today's Sunday, and I watered them uh, heavy yesterday morning, so Saturday morning. Didn't water them yesterday night, and it's been in the hundreds around here, uh, here in Lincoln, Nebraska, so it's been hot. And thought I had them watered good, came out. I actually didn't check these buckets, because these ones have been holding their water pretty good. And by the time uh, we got home from church today, uh, <laughs> these, this, this guy right here, this whole vine looked a lot like this guy right here just withered away and they're looking a lot better now 
So, you know, one, one tip I'd say, especially even in growing inside, um, you know, you don't water uh, one day, it can look pretty catastrophic for the plants, but just give them some water, trust the plant, trust the, you know, trust that you've got them in good light and, and it'll work out. And so I did water these guys actually twice today, um, just right through the, right through the irrigation system. Uh, so nice drip irrigation for about 30 minutes and uh, didn't see a big improvement until the sun went down, which is understandable, but if you can see this guy, there's only one spaghetti squash in this plant, uh, only one spaghetti squash plant in here, uh, but he is, it is starting to kind of sprout off on that base. So here's a kind of a sprout, and then over here, I'm getting another, uh, another kind of shoot coming down. So they look really close. Where's that? Right there. I can reckon that is going to be a spaghetti squash pretty soon if you look at it real close. So hopefully we got some more spaghetti squash in the future, but here's a, just a comparison of my hand there. Pretty good sized. Uh, blossoms kind of died off recently. And so we'll, uh, you know, no worries on that. We'll see how they, how they end up. They, you know, they'll come back and we'll get some more spaghetti squash in here, hopefully. And then finish her up. I'll give you a little update on my aquaponics system. This is kind of just a last ditch attempt. I had some extra plants and really wanted to give it a go here with the aquaponics. And so I've got three tomatoes here and then two peppers. So I've got, uh, really I don't even know what varieties these are because they were just kind of my last, my last things. I had uh, some buckets left over and uh, I've mentioned it before, but my father-in-law, I, I grew for him in his greenhouse uh, I grow here and uh, he'll take the plants back for his greenhouse and so here I uh, thought hey why not uh, set up a little aquaponics system so you can see here it's uh, you know the plants are looking pretty good problem is we've had such high heat here I'll show you down here there's some fish down there we've got quite a few goldfish in there um, got a whole system just draining all of them draining right down back to the um, to the sump tank with the fish in it but uh, the problem is I'm getting go in here good water flow right to the root but we've had such high heat I mean in the hundreds um, that it just that water just isn't able to keep up with the roots but uh, even with that being said you can see here getting some good pepperoncini action so you know I, I planted a lot this year um, and had some catastrophes with the uh, you know putting them out too early, not harden them off in time. Um, but with that being said, I've had a lot of production so far and I'm really excited about how everything's uh, turning out. And so give you a little bit of a, you know, recap on the tomatoes here. And so for this update of the 2017 Urban Bucket Garden, this is Gabriel Miller. I'm really excited about how everything's going. Uh, if you have any questions, which I've had a lot of people ask questions so far via Facebook, Instagram, uh, just go ahead and drop a question down low. Uh, or if you have any uh, you know, things that you think might help, what I will say is what I've been doing with uh, the peppers especially, but also the tomatoes. I've been uh, not extra fertilizing from last year, but I've been using Epsom salt this year. Uh, I've had a couple people recommend that. And I knew last year with I had a lot of magnesium deficiency. I had a lot of uh, wilting, uh, kind of curling uh, pepper leaves. And so this year, none of that, been hitting them hard with Epsom salt, and uh, the production's been off the charts, as you can see from the videos. So uh, that's one tip I'll give you. And then uh, just make sure, again, doesn't matter where you're at, as long as you got some buckets, some plants, uh, you can have fun growing. So for this update, this is Gabriel Miller. Now stop it, everybody.